Hi, my name is Jeff Krause. I'm the chef owner of Crepe Bar in Tempe, Arizona. Today we're going to talk about making a coffee-infused crepe, which is perfect for breakfast or brunch on a Saturday or Sunday. The first step in making a coffee-infused crepe is to take your wet ingredients. We use whole eggs. We use a whole milk. We use a coffee right out of Portland. The coffee roaster is called Heart Coffee. We do a cold brew process, which takes about 12 to 14 hours to make. We use this as part of the liquid. Once all the wet is into your mixing bowl, what you want to make sure is to get everything fully blitzed. After the wet is fully blitzed, take your dry, which is a combination of kosher salt and flour all-purpose, which I recommend the Hayden Mills flour out of Tempe, Arizona. Feel free to put everything in all at once and blitz until it's fully incorporated, which will take about anywhere from two to three minutes. Once everything is fully incorporated, what you want to do is take a sieve something that you can strain any of the starches, the flour that didn't get fully incorporated into the wet. You wanna keep those behind. Once this is fully strained, what you wanna do is let the batter rest anywhere from a half an hour to overnight. So that way the, the starches, the proteins that were damaged during the blitzing has time to relax and absorb any of the liquid. Now it's rested, let's go make the perfect crepe. We're gonna take about an ounce and a half, ounce and three quarters of the batter. Get it twirled around, all the way around. You wanna keep that same motion. And you wanna stop once you see that the liquid isn't spreading anymore. The batter is not spreading. Let it cook, it should take about two minutes to cook. What you wanna see is just a thin layer of batter in a hot pan. Again, keep your, keep your range up high. Uh, adjust the heat accordingly. Your pan's gonna tell you what's gonna be the best temperature. You're gonna see the entire pan, the crepe itself, you're gonna see the edges curl up. That's a good indicator that your pan is at a perfect temperature. Give it a couple of seconds, give it a, a shake. It will come off if your pan is seasoned properly, if the temperature is at the correct level of heat, the crepe itself will come off relatively simple, relatively easy. Give it a twirl, let it cook quickly, briefly on the other side. Once it's done, have your station set up wax, paper, aluminum, however you want to do it. And then just flip it over. Start on your next one. Cool. Once the crepe is made, you want to brulee it just a little bit with sugar. Um, we brulee it with a brown sugar and a granulated. Plate it with a little bit of maple syrup, candied bacon, and an over easy egg. Finish it with just a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Perfect beverage to pair with that is a cold brew coffee, which we make at Crate Bar. We also teach people how to make cold brew coffee. That's our version of an all-American breakfast with a little French twist. Mm -hmm.